In this situation, you're not a drunk driving cop who gets into a car accident and then say, oh, by the way, you can't terminate me because I suffer from alcoholism. He only was found this out after the fact. That he was, uh, there are no reports that say that it was known before the fact. What happened was he then went... Difference? It would have made a difference, I think okay, because difference. he was terminated. And then he said while he was in treatment, he was in an inpatient treatment center, which his employer allowed him to attend, which is in, that's legal under the ADA. That's what an employer has to do. Wait, when he was so stopped, he refused to take a sobriety test. Again, that falls far below the conduct of a police officer. Well, that's, that's not the choice. standard that we have of somebody who is supposed to protect and serve the public. This person endangered the public, and that's what the employer well, had to weigh when accident. terminating but, him. But, but let, me say but, let me say this. Well, he, he, he endangered himself in that instance, but the problem is, given this issue he has, he can do it again, and next time he can run someone over. But, and then what does the second. police department say then if they get sued.